What are you most looking forward to in the movie versus the anime series? I think just the fact that with a movie and with a longer piece of fiction, uh, you don't have to wrap everything up so fast. I mean, you can have multi-episode arcs, but there's something nice about having a self-contained, you know, two-hour-long thing. We're like, okay, this is the story we're going to tell. A little more freedom, a little more time to let things breathe. And, I mean, I went for my session, but I only saw the stuff that my character was in. So, a little bit here, a little bit there. It'll be cool to see the whole thing top to bottom and, you know, get context. So Nice. And then, what do you think of the visual upgrade of the characters? I'm always curious to see what they're going to do with them next as they go from level to level to level to game. And of course, always, I, you know, when I went in, I had that question of what game are they playing now? What hijinks are they getting themselves into? But then when, when uh, the English dub director, Alex Von David, explained it to me, I thought, okay, I'll buy that. Because by now you're like, are these guys really going to play another game? Or are they going to be like, let's just like play Cards Against Humanity or something? Right? And I buy this. I buy that they would play this game. Yeah. That's a really good point because it's like, guys, seriously, still? <laughs> Don't log into the <laughs> internet and play games ever. <laughs> well, speaking of that, if you could play in any version of the game, regardless of what happened in those environments, more just the environment itself, which would you pick? I would pro You know what? I would probably do season one. As much as I like the idea of having wings, I'm sure I would not understand how to navigate that many dimensions at once. I'd end up like stuck in a tree or just like flying straight down to the ground. So I tried doing the flying car in Final Fantasy 15. It didn't work out so well. So I just, I think just, just OG vanilla sword art, boom, boom, season one. I'm not going to fly into the sun or crash my car. That'd be for the best. In what ways do you relate to your character? Oh, man. Um... I don't know. I, I probably the, I feel like a lot of the times if he's not actively involved in the hijinks, he's watching the hijinks and going, "Oh, you kids, you scamps!" And I feel like the older I get, the more I'm the guy who's just shaking his head, going, "You scampy kids, with your fun and your hijinks and your goings ons." So probably in that way. Is there anything you're working on right now that you can tell us about? Oh, so many things, um, <laughs> but nothing that I think that is magically out of the the NDA fog of war. But no, it's it's been. I thought the beginning of this year was going to be a little more chill, and I'm not complaining. Knock on wood, it's been super busy, and I don't know if it's ever going to stop. But that's the freelancer's dream, so, you know. Well, where can people find you online so they can stay on, up to date, you know, when those NDA fogs Finally disappear? Yeah. Uh, I am on Twitter, uh, sites unseen with, I think, an underscore between the words. It's not all one together. I never remember because I never have to type it. I'm just like, me, I press the me button. But it's sites unseen because puns are fun, but then people don't know how to pronounce my name. And they're like, see, it's unseen, I don't get it. And then I weep. So, sites unseen, Twitter, yeah. Cool, well, thank you so much. You're welcome.